Hello everyone. Cricketers in India always have a unique journey. One more interesting journey has come to light with the latest Dulip Trophy season. Karnataka's Vidwat Kevarappa stayed in the tournament with, a brill- with his brilliant fast bowling as South Zone in the tournament. And Cricket Next has got this opportunity to hear the story from Vidwat himself. So let us welcome him. Hello Vidwat. Hi, how are Vidwat. you? I'm good. How are you? I'm 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 good as well. Thanks. So congratulations for winning man of the series award in Gulli Trophy. Thank you. Thank you so much. How, how are you feeling after that victory? As you won the tournament and you also won man of the series. So yeah, it feels yeah, it feels amazing to uh, contribute to the team's victory and play a major role in in it. So yeah, it, it was my first uh, Red Bull Trophy. You have to say. So yeah, I'm uh, really excited to go ahead and look forward to the season now. Okay, okay. So you you made your Ranji Trophy debut uh, a couple of years back. So uh, I wanted to know your story. Like, how did you get into playing cricket, and what was the thing that propelled you to play cricket, and how did you emerge out in the Karnataka state circuit? Um, uh, I'm from a, a small town back in Kur called as Mayampi. Uh, where in Kurg is generally is known for hockey and uh, people are going right. to the armed forces. So yeah, I did play hockey in school time, but I wasn't that good at it. So, but I always uh, loved cricket, and uh, cricket is not something that's played a lot over there. So it, it, it would just be like the ball cricket in the summer or just summer camps. So I used to play all the other sports for my school team. The, that's how I used to keep myself fit. Uh, and then uh, once I finished my 10th standard, I came to Bangalore and I joined Presidency College. And then I started uh, continuing cricket over here. Got to know the circuit and everything. How, how, what are the levels you have to play in order to make it big and everything. So that's how it went about. So I, I also hear a story that uh, you have fast tracked in the Ranji Trophy team, uh, uh, probably before playing the under 23. For Karnataka. So, can you yeah. elaborate that story a bit? Like, I think that story was quite interesting. Yeah, uh, all I was doing was uh, going to the Ranji practice, so uh, just going there, just bowling to the main team. I just wanted uh, to get some good quality practice, uh, bowl to the top quality batsmen of our state, uh, learn some tricks from the fast bowlers who are already part of the team. So, all my intention was to just go there and keep learning and improving every day. Just to go for the practice matches and everything. And uh, at that time, the coach Eric Gorda, he was my coach when I played for under 19 as well. So, he knew me from before. And uh, I think uh, from then on, I played some practice games as well with the team. Uh, they liked me, and all of a sudden, I got a call. I wasn't even expecting it. I was uh, about to go on that night on that friday uh, uh afternoon uh, i was just about to leave to mangalore to play a league game over there but uh, by that uh, by the time uh, i was about to leave i got a call saying that i need to go to chennai and everything but at first i didn't believe it and then when they elaborated everything it to me then i was like okay what's happening i don't know I, I just went to the floor and do you think cricket as a profession has been rewarding so far for you yeah it has been um uh, yeah, it's something that we don't know. Uh, it's a little uncertain at the beginning when you've not uh, achieved uh, what you want to achieve. Whatever uh, set plan would be in your head won't always come out uh, as and when you want it. So yeah, uh, putting in all the hard work and the effort has finally paid off. So uh, also uh, back in 2015-16 or so, uh, when you were uh, when you first started giving trials and all. Um, uh, you were doubtful when your coach at that point in time, uh, Samuel Jairaj, uh, he asked you to stay back in Mangaluru. So, can you recall that time? Uh, uh, not a lot of uh, memories of that time, but I still remember him seeing me in the selection and asking me my name and where I was from. Yeah. Uh, him and Rajesh Kamath, sir. So, that's one memory that I still have very well in my head. It's like imprinted in my head. Uh, that was my first. Uh, encounter with Jai Rajar. I'm forever grateful for him, for all the things that he's taught me and uh, for taking me under it. And now, talking about the Dulip Trophy final, uh, you were bowling against a star-studded betting lineup uh, of West Zone. Like, they have Chetasu Pujara, they have uh, Prithvi Show, they have Suryakumar Yadav. 
but you managed to dismiss uh, pujara as well as surya kumar yadav for very very cheap runs like they were dismissed for single digits so what was what was your thought process while bowling to these people uh oh when you see pujara and surya kumar yadav are two completely different uh, type of batsmen pujara who was known for his grittiness or who was known for his discipline and uh, on the other hand surya kumar uh, surya kumar is known for his uh, extraordinary shots right so yeah i knew i had to be patient with pujara we knew we had to make him or uh, or is to bait him into making a mistake surya kumar yadav uh, i had seen him uh, quite a few times like since he is always on the tv i used to keep watching him bat and i knew he would always go for his shots so yeah i knew i had to get uh, something of the wicket some extra purchase of the wicket or else it would be very difficult and also the wicket that we played on was very flat so uh, i was ready for them uh, before the game okay okay nice and how is it like bowling to pujara specifically to pujara how is it bowling to him yeah uh, it's really nice it's challenging uh, that i like that i like those sort of batsmen for very gritty i like it when i get, get them out and uh, be on the uh, upper hand so yeah it was uh, nice to get his wicket uh, every fast bowler in the domestic circuit would love to get a pick up his wicket we all know how good a batsman he is so yeah it was very nice uh, i would love I would like to bowl uh, to him again uh, uh, this is interesting really because so um i think you have had uh, besides uh, some very good spells with the red ball you have also had some good spells with the white ball as well in smet as well as in vijay hazara trophy so how do you switch from one format to another uh no it's not a big switch for me it's just that the ball its color is changed that's all what i think uh, uh everything else uh, remains the same for me the process remains the same the areas that i want to hit remains the same only a certain uh, times the game plan changes uh, according to the situation and according to the wicket that's all nothing else i uh, try and keep it very simple okay and are there any personal preferences between these different formats uh, any specific uh, format that you prefer more than the other red ball okay In okay <laughs> yeah, everyone all the purists i think i would prefer red ball yeah uh, good one so uh what are your training routines uh, when when you are playing matches during the season and then during the off season when there are not too many games happening what are your training routines like how uh, when it's my off season i look back uh, to the season and see what i have done where i can improve on and then i try and build up my fitness i increase my strength uh, do a lot of conditioning work and uh, keep my body ready for the coming season and while in season is just maintaining uh, uh, my body uh, taking care of it uh, very well uh, eating well sleeping well drinking plenty of water just the simple stuff okay uh, interesting again uh, and one last thing uh, what are your hopes on an india call up have, have have you been in talks with the bcci or nc have they talked to you about anything so far uh, especially after continues very good performances in ranji as well as tulip trophy now what are your uh, thoughts on it i think i'm not really looking at it it's not under my control i am only focused on what is under my control is that uh, whenever or wherever i get the opportunity to go and play uh, just go out there and do your job well and everything else will fall in place and that was very nice vidwat a very nice to have a conversation with you thanks for talking to us it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you thank you thank you for having me bansal thanks a lot hello everyone welcome to our new show crick sunday with me suramya kaushik kon khelega kya strategy honi chahiye well in sabhi sawalon ke jawab aapko yahan par nahi milenge kyunki crick sunday mein hoga ek scoop fun ek scoop meme aur ek scoop full of controversies well facebook instagram twitter aur ab threads bhi itne sare social media platforms और जितने प्लेटफॉर्म्स उतने मीम्स और कंट्रोवर्सीज भी थोड़ी नोक झोक एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट जॉइन अस एवरी संडे एट 11 एम ओनली ऑन क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट